Hi there. In this video we will be taking a quick look at a cool tool from Hepar. And this little guy is a laser distance meter. So let's get into the box the caveman way because I cannot find my cutting tools, any of them, if this is actually believable but who knows where i put them so we are digging into this and it's already getting ugly Repar, sorry you put a lot of work <laughs> into a nice uh, tool and package and i'm tearing the package apart oh hello little guy <laughs> This looks nice. Honestly, this really does look nice. Oh, never had any idea that you could actually mount this on a tripod. And that is actually pretty cool. So depending on what you are measuring, one direction, rotate it another direction, and you are still keeping it level. That's nice. So... How do we actually... I wasn't finding... Ah, okay. I wasn't finding where to charge this little guy. It's right there. But it's such a good flap that I cannot... For the love of God. Or am I trying like a moron to open it on the wrong side? Although we have an arrow here. Yep, I am. And we also have a little bit of green there. <clears throat> Sorry about that, my bad, wrong, wrong end. So it's a standard USB connector to charge this little guy. But let's uh, test our luck and see if it actually has a charge or not. Hmm, that's cool. So presumably through here it shines a light and this is the reading part. I have no clue how this uh, works, but do not stare into the light, as always. We have a 3.7 volt, obviously lithium uh, battery for a capacity of 850 milliamp hours. That's pretty good. Uh, how do we turn this thing on? Do we not have a button that's marked? Oh, so directly from read. We don't have a power on butter button directly read. This is nice. So this also has a an included level. On this direction, because this is what affects your measurement. You see it right there in the corner. I had no idea. You can see that my bench is almost flat. In this direction it's not flat and we know that from another Hupar tool that I will link in the description. But in this direction it's kind of basically flat-ish. So, uh, yeah, and backlit every time we read it. Let's see for the units. Oh no, man, this is uh, actually cool. So, there are a few uh, ways of, of ways of reading. It can read directly from this, so from its end, to say like that, and it shows us there. It can read from the middle of the tool, or bottom of the tool. So you put it against the wall and measure until the wall in front of it, and it uh, also adds the tool length itself, so you get an accurate reading. Stop the beeping, I think. Does it stop the beeping? Or what am I doing here from plus and minus? Oh, you can add and subtract distances, I think. Okay. -ish. Presumably long press will cancel the beeping. Yep, it did cancel the beeping long press. 
if we long press again we again have the beeping and you can see it when it's actually doing a reading let's see clear and off yep can it do a volume actually i think it can do a volume from do this button and save data can we actually save data i need to read the manual <laughs> this is more uh, involved than i i thought and yes to get to the manual rest of the box hefty manual usb charging cable which as charging cables go let me see what is the estimated quality of this eh, somewhere around the middle so the plugs themselves decent not burst not weird stuff cable seems to be a, a bit on the stiffer side but yeah to charge the tool it will be awesome we have the strap for it which in theory will go somewhere around here any day now if you ever think jesus i'm moving too slow when i'm uh, doing stuff like this well uh, try to film yourself doing stuff like this putting uh, i don't know a thread to a needle or something like that and it will become much harder so be back in a second to make things a bit easier for me i think i'm going to use this little pin and attempt to extract haha <laughs> did it and now just put everything through this and i think it just powered off by itself so it has a power of timer which is good you do not want to overuse your battery without doing anything on it and now hand strap you are not losing this or it will not fall down although from what i can see it has it's a uh, um, is it a rubber or something else but it is malleable so it will protect and the uh, green plastic is just plastic so this is an uh, protection over molding that we see here and obviously as always with your part tools carry case looking good and i think i just did a stupid thing i put my finger on that and you shouldn't so let me just give it a quick clean something else that i want to mention there is a chance that uh, emission and also reading come from this big uh, lens and this is just the light that we actually can see uh, when we read so this might be just for us to see but the measurement could be happening only through this i do not know that for sure let me quickly show you the manual feel free to pause at any time to read it if you don't have it anymore here it explains what i already told you then here uh, what has been saved how many records this is the main display but it can also go in a mode where it shows maximum and minimum and this is actually uh, auxiliary auxiliary jesus huh. display and yes this little guy can actually uh, calculate areas volumes and pythagorean measuring so you measure i will show you later some of the sides and it calculates the other kind of cool and we can change the units by long pressing this button button and i will do that again a laser don't stare into it it will show you the battery 5 volts 1 amps you need for the charger measurement units sound on off that i already showed you calibration if you need to do a calibration on it angle measurement yes it directly displays you the angle and you can also have a delayed measurement if you want to measure something 
so you set it to measure and then in daylight for example you need this target is included it was in the box but i just saw it you can set it to measure and then go at the other end and put this target to have a better uh, uh, i don't know target basically or maybe there are other situations where you want a delayed measurement from the second uh, you press the button you can delay from 3 to 60 seconds who knows what uh, your use scenario is single distance what we were using up until now and we also have let me show you so turn it on change to meters meters and hold this for more than three seconds and now you can see we were in continuous measurement mode but presumably that will drain the battery so might not be ideal for some situations and yes obviously backlight i i think you already saw that for sure so it can also do area measurement so for square meters in an apartment to say like that for the ceiling and floor area measurement then painter fun uh, function it literally helps you uh, measure the surface of the walls which is quite cool and uh, yes obviously volumes in cubic meters and this is uh, square meters for the surface in an indirect distance measurement Pythagoras measurement. Uh, this is the painter function. Th that picture uh, belongs to this page, but there wasn't room. So this, you can measure in theory what's uh, dashed in here plus another line and it will give you the remaining one. Or you measure these two lines and it will give you uh, the long one. I don't know the terms in English. Sorry about that. The same, you can have three measurements and it will give you the distance between those two many many variants and yes we can actually save uh, the values but it doesn't say anywhere that we can read them on the computer so, so presumably we just save them and then uh, view them uh, on the device itself uh, afterwards to note them into something so we do not need to directly write them at the moment but uh, that depends on what you are doing, because if you have 20 measurements, uh, you kind of need to know the order of them and what they work for. So yeah, it depends on your line of work. Obviously, you can delete the measurements. And to use it with a tripod, this is the mounting size. eight thousand times for single measurements and automatic shot on 150 seconds that's quite cool ip54 and this is plus minus two millimeters precision and we have the lm 100 a up to 100 meters so this is a little beast and in daylight this helps you reach that because it's quite uh, quite reflective as you can see cool and just wanted to show something me for example i was using this for everything i didn't have anything else but let's say I need to measure up to that wall, but not at this level, a bit higher. Well, it kind of works up to a certain distance until this will start to do this when it's uh, extended too much. And then 
you need a second person because you don't have any way of doing it. And yes, obviously this is 3 meters, there are 5 and 10 meters, but those zero chance of extending them too much. This thingy, hey, how much is it uh, through there? Just remember on what type of measurement you are. If we are measuring from here, from here or from the middle. Ah, so that's the measurement. Yep, just below uh, 50 centimeters. Done. <laughs> that simple. Don't know if I showed the last English page, so here it is, if you need to scan this thingy. At this point, I'm trying to center these uh, bookshelves onto the wall, uh, or bookcases actually, and I could use that uh, right there, but uh, why not use something that's more accurate and it's actually built for something like this. So we have it in the mode where it takes its uh, length into consideration, stick it on the wall and start measuring and see what we have. So we have our laser. It, this is the distance from this side to the wall. Let's see on the other side. And hopefully it will be similar because as you can see I have this here and I cannot move that. So hopefully I am quite centered. Press again, laser mark. And as you can see we are spot on. <laughs> and we were extremely lucky. Yay! Next I need to install this light. But the question is, is this thing in the middle of the room or not? Because I had surprises that in other rooms it was not in the middle. So I'm going to try and use this to see if it's in the middle or not. As expected, not in the middle. So the fact that this hole is actually not in the middle, I can find a way to install this and the end result be in the middle of uh, that ceiling. Another good place to use this is between these two big wood uh, posts, the supports from this uh, terrace roof, to measure the distance at this level, which will be quite hard to do with a tape measure. But with this, put it in here, press the button, wait for the light, and read out the value. And now I need, ah, come on camera, focus what uh, distance uh, I have between them and how long the piece of wood needs to be to make some kind of a fence or railing or something like that. So at the end of the day for me the most useful feature of this is that it allows me to measure things on the fly while working by myself. Some things could obviously be measured with uh, uh, a tape measure, tape ruler, not sure exactly how it's called, but uh, I would need actually a second person or a way to attach the ruler at the other end. This, just push a button and uh, it's done. Yeah, not sure if it can get a value on this uh, thing which is actually a chair and doesn't really have a, a sur yeah, even on this, although it has this kind of surface, so it does average uh, that surface in a way. And yeah, that's that's really nice, will be put to really good use uh, on my projects and on this channel and uh, around the house of course. So thanks uh, Huepar for sending this tool in for a review. And everybody if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments. And that's about it, bye!